hey guys welcome back to the channel uh, across the river uh, today we are going to talk about um, the ghosts or spirits that can steal your body yeah it sounds very strange né? like how can your body be stolen if you think of it it's something that very sounds uh, strange but you it's true that your body can be stolen you know there are so many spirits or ghosts that are roaming around so these spirits that are roaming around most of them they are looking for a place to stay they are looking for a body that they can occupy, that they can use as their home, and a body that can they use for what they want to do physically. So with them wanting a place to stay and needing a body, so it makes them to, to go around looking for someone that they can find to be weak uh, in terms of spiritual side so or the body that they will be able to to take over so that's what happens so they are able to take over your body that's how it goes so we'll be talking about that today uh, there are two types of this kind of uh, work uh, in which they can do it so if you are new to the channel uh, please subscribe you can also share the channel and activate the notifications also like um, the video yeah so like you see so many people that you 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 come across you find that they are no longer people actually it's just the body that is moving around because the body is still alive but that body has been taken over by the evil spirit and this body will be behaving in a very surprising way a very unusual behaviors see some behaviors that will be shocking and that will surprise you like how can a person be behaving like this or behaving in a very abnormal way so the first time or the first type in which these spirits can take over your body is where they share your body with you. But when I talk about you, I am referring to your soul or your spirit. You already know that your body is a vessel, right? So you are not your body actually. So you are just using your body as a container or as a vessel. But the real person is your soul or your spirit. That which will leave that body when that body dies. And then your soul or spirit will leave that body to go to the spiritual world. So that's what I'm talking about when I talk about you. That is the real person. The body is not a real person. It's just a cover. So you have a spirit, a soul that lives inside your body. Then that's you. So the evil spirits or these ghosts, they have the ability that they can enter your body they can hijack your body actually they can force themselves into your body so that they share your body with you so you will be sharing this body and then they will start to control you or control your body how you do things the way you behave the way you talk the places you go to the thinking, the way of thinking you have, how you think. Some of them can even, uh, you can even hear the voices uh, telling you what to do or the voices telling you where to go. They give you 
instruction. Some people, that's why I'm sure you might have heard of some people that they, they have killed the people and they say that they were hearing voices telling them that, hey, do this, don't do this, go and kill that person, do this. Such things happen because of these spirits. When they have entered your body and they are sharing your body with you, they control you. So they tell you that go and kill that person or go and do this and this and this and this. So uh, these spirits, they overcome your soul. They overcome your spirit. They put it under pressure. They suppress it so that they have... Uh, control over your body they have a higher control and you have less control sometimes they can have little control and you have more control but you are still sharing your body with them so when they are having a very strong control of your body that's where it's very dangerous because you will be doing the things that you don't know what you are doing find yourself doing things that you don't understand like how did i do that so they decide for you like what to do and what not to do. They influence your behavior. So people will see you and they will notice that, no, man, you are behaving very strange these days. You are no longer the same. So something has changed about you. And it's true because it will be that uh, the evil spirit that occupied your body that is influencing your behavior that is channeling you so for someone you can see in someone when there is a, a sudden change in behavior or a sudden change in lifestyle you see the way a person suddenly changes in doing things in behavior in that way so that can be a very good sign to see that no man this person has been taken over by the spirit. So they are sharing their body with this um, um, evil spirit. So they are being overcome, actually. So they no longer have a total control in, in their life. The way they think um, is determined by that spirit. The way they will be walking, the way they will be talking. Some people will even... The voice won't sound exactly familiar like it used it to be, you see. <clears throat> you see, if you want to, if you don't think like it happens, uh, I'll give you an example. The, this is just an example for you to understand. It, it's not really part of this. It's just an example, so it will be easy for you to understand. Take, for example, if someone is in trends trends like uh, they are going under trends where maybe the spirit of their ancestors or spirit of uh, their spiritual life uh, has entered their body has taken over their body some people follow traditional processes where the ancestors can take over their body and do things and act in a certain way and talk in a certain way. Some people will be in religious places. You see, I'm sure you have seen where they you'll be see people uh, behaving like uh, the spirit has taken over. It happens in different places. Or if you have, if you know the process called kufemba or ukufemba. Uh, you will understand this better where the Ndao ancestor uh, will take over the body of the traditional healer who is performing the Okofemba process. So that Ndao spirit takes over that body and have control over it, will start to talk over it and will start to act in a certain way. So uh, the traditional healer won't be having a total control of his or her body. But the ancestral spirit will be the one that is controlling uh, the body and doing everything through the body. You see, uh, the, um, the ancestral spirit or the Ndawu spirit can also uh, imitate uh, the behavior 
of the evil spirit that has entered uh, the patient for a person who has come to get help through the Ogufemba process. So you will see the healer acting in a way that um, the evil spirit that has entered the person behaves as to indicate the situation, how it is, you see. So I won't talk much about the, the Ogufemba process. There is a video about it, but this, this one I'm just giving you an example so that you can understand how a person behaves when the spirit has taken over uh, their body and to show that it really happens that a spirit can have control over your body. So these kind of things happen again where the evil spirits will find you weak and then they overcome your spirit, they enter your body and they start sharing your body with you. So they use your body with you. So in that body, there will be you and there will be them using the same body. You see, do you understand it? So the... Second type of um, where the spirits can take over your body. This is where they assume the total control. You understand? They assume the total control. They take over your body. And you, the person, the owner, you are kicked out of your body. So your soul will be out of your body or your spirit will be out of your body. Like the same way when you are dead. You see, when you die, your soul or spirit leaves your body. Ne? It gets out of your body. And then the body dead is left behind to be buried or to rot or whatever way it will be treated. So the body will be dead and your spirit will be out of your body. So in this process, your body is not dead. Your body is still alive. But the evil spirit has entered your body. It has taken over your body and your soul is taken out. So you are out there. You are wandering. You are struggling. You are suffering because you no longer have a body. But people will see your body and think that it is you because your body is still alive, right? Yes. So when people see your body, they assume that it's you. But it's not you. It's your body that is being taken over by that evil spirit. So the evil spirit is using your body. It is living in your body. So it has taken over your life. It has taken everything about your life. But the people will notice that, no, this is you, right? Because it's your board. But everything is different now. Because that body will be behaving in a total different way that you used it to behave. It will be doing things in a different way that you used it to do things. Even the voice sometimes can also change and start to sound in a very strange way. But it's not always the case. Sometimes the voice can remain the same. It doesn't change. So when you talk, it will sound like it is really you. But it is not you. You are out of the body. Now the other spirit has taken your body. It has taken control, the full control of your body. See? So that body is going to have new behavior, new behavioral pattern. It will still be having some patterns that uh, it used it to behave like when you still had that body. But the behavior will no longer be the same like it used it to be. It will start to change all of a sudden. There will be a quick change in a behavior. Do you understand? So it won't be the same. And again, people will be surprised, like, what is happening to you? Why, why are you behaving in this way? What is happening to you? You see? So it will be a very 
a, 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 a strange thing that happens. So like even um, um, like in the first part that I talked about that you can share a body with the spirit, your soul is still there in the body and or your spirit is still there in the body and the other spirit has has got has got access, it has got entered. You see, so many people who are mad or who are considered to be having uh, mental sicknesses or mental problems, the people who are chained, like this person is mad, they are doing this and this. In most cases, it's not like they are mad, actually. Most people are not mad. It's just that there is the evil spirit that has entered their body, has overcome their body, is controlling their body, is making them to behave in a very strange way, in a very unfamiliar way. And then they look like they are mad because they do things that are not normal. See? But if this person can find a, a healer, or, or a traditional healer or someone who deals with spirits ne? someone who can be able to identify the evil spirit that has entered this body and is making this body to behave like a mad, like a mad person and they are able to chase it out they take it out the moment they chase that spirit out that person becomes back to no, normal life so you see the madness has gone away all of a sudden. Immediately when they chase away the evil spirit, the person becomes calm now. They return back to the normal life. They can behave normally. They can behave in a right way. The normal life that they used to live before the spirit has taken over their life. So, so many people who behave strangely, who have changed their behaviors, who have changed the way they lived, all of a sudden, you find that uh, they are no longer alone in that body. They are sharing the body with an evil spirit. Or they are out of the body completely. They, it's no longer them. It's a total new spirit. Same body, but a new spirit in the body. And it will be very strange. It happens a lot. Like, you know, <clears throat> there are people, I'm sure you have heard about this. There are people who do astral travels or out-of-body experience. Né? This act is good because it takes you to the spirit world. It takes you to different spirit, spirit levels different spirit realms yes it's very good in that way and then during your travel when you are traveling the astral travel or out of body experience you'll be able to see lots of spiritual things you'll be able to see a lot of things uh, spiritually and then it's very good in that way <clears throat> and then there is also um, a line or a connection you see you see here yeah, what happens is your body is left. You are out of your body. You are no longer in your body. So you left your body where it is. So if you started the travel when you are in your room or in your bed, you, you have been lying on your bed, your body will be left there on your bed alone without you. Because you are out there in the spiritual realms, traveling, going far away, being wherever you, you want to be. And then relying on the line that when you want to come back, you don't get lost. So that line will be di directing you back to your body. So in simple way, that's how uh, astral travel or out-of-body experience works. But... The problem with that is sometimes when you are out there out there traveling this evil spirit that is roaming around looking for a body it may find your body and when it finds your body 
when you are out of it. It will enter your body and it will take your body and then gone with it. Your body will just stand up or wake out, gone with that uh, spirit. When you come back, the body is no longer there. This spirit has cut the cord. So you come back, your body is not there. Your body is gone, has been taken over by another spirit. So this spirit will be living as it is you. But it is not you. It is just using your body. It is just living in your body. So it will take over your life. But the behaviors will be different, like I have explained. The, both the behavior, the way you use it to behave, the way you use it to do things, it will be different. So people who will be seeing your body will be noticing some changes. That no man, you have changed a lot. A lot has changed about you. You used it to be like this and this and this, but now you are in this way. You used it to talk like this, but now you are like this. You used it to hate this, but now you are doing it. You used it to love this, but now you hate it. You see, everything about you will be strange. You will be behaving in a very different manner, and the evil spirit will be living in your body, living your life, taken over. Your soul will be out there, uh, your spirit will be out there wandering around. So it's like you are dead. Vele, you, you, you are dead. If you are out of your body and then you can't come back to your body, you are dead indeed. But people won't know that you are dead because they, they will see your body moving around. They will see your body doing things. They will see your body like it's alive and well. So because they see your body, they think you are alive. But in reality, you are no longer in that body. You are out of that body. So you are dead, but alive because your body is alive. I hope um, it makes sense. I've explained it in a right manner and in a simple manner. Uh, you can also check some other videos in the channel. We've got some very interesting videos that you will like. You can check them in the channel. Thank you.